Hey, what goes on guys? We're back here again with another review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Diamond Select Toys Avatar The Last Airbender Sokka. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I felt like this took forever to come out. And when a local comic book store posted that they had it, I had to go and grab it because the pre-order that I had was taking forever to come. Um, I'm not going to lie, I don't really think this looks great. The articulation looks... Pretty bad, just in the box. I haven't watched any reviews of this guy. Um, I'll get into what I don't like about it, but I really think this could have been done better, and that's without even opening it. So maybe I'll open it, and I'll love it, and we'll see a difference. But if this wasn't Sokka, I would not have gotten this, if that makes sense. I mean, he's like one of the main characters in the show. The fact that it took, what is this, Wave? Series 4. Series 4. We got Azula and... Fire Lord Ozai before Sokka. That is, I didn't understand that, but whatever. He's finally here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So taking a look at the packaging, it's the standard Diamond Select packaging. Um, this is the deluxe version, so you get the extra accessories in there. It says Sokka there. Nothing really on the side. On the back, like I said, Series 4. Um, there's the Avatar State Aang. I'm not going to be getting that at all. There's Sokka right there. That I, I think that's supposed to be Sokka. You guys tell me because I don't really think it looks anything like him. There you go. On the bottom, there's the barcode. I don't think this is going to be hitting mass retail stores, but could help someone. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and finally take a look at this guy. So taking Sokka out of the package, I got to say <laughs> my assumptions were completely correct in the box. Um, there's a couple surprising things about this figure. And, you know, it's not completely terrible, but overall, I gotta say, this is not a very well-executed figure. Um, it's a shame, because I am such a big fan of the show, as I know a lot of people are. So, I think a lot of people were hoping for a better figure line of these guys. And then, you know, McFarlane comes around and announces that they're doing it. And, oops, well, they have their 7-inch scale figures. They don't look amazing to me and you know obviously you know he takes forever to build teams so we'll see how long we'll see how long it will take to get the the four crew members i mean but like the the main avatar group but whatever you know we'll we'll see but getting into this um i gotta i gotta say that i guess they they do good in accessories, which we'll get to that in a minute. But taking a look at this head sculpt, who the f who 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 the hell is this? This is not Sokka. That does not look like Sokka at all. Maybe the expression does, but that head sculpt does not look like Sokka. I, I when I saw the initial promotional images, I was really hoping that they would alter it before that the figure got made and released. But I, I guess they didn't, and it just it just doesn't look like Sokka to me. Um. I guess the paint is clean on the head. There's like these like weird little dings all over it, but I just I don't think this looks like Sokka. I really don't. I used to have my hair like this, so I can always appreciate this kind of hairstyle, believe it or not, but I just don't think this looks like Sokka. Running down the body, you do get a soft goods rope cloth around the strap for his boomerang and his knife, which is not something I expected. I actually kind of like that. I think that looks really cool. Um the blue has a couple little marks here and there, but overall I think the sculpt and um, paint apps are pretty clean. You get the wraps around the forearms. This is like season one Sokka. Um, and then going down here, you get the boots that have the two-tone color, like the lighter and the darker in the back. Um, these do work for the accessories, so barely, but you can put the boomerang in there. I would, be, I would not leave that in there. Uh, that will definitely get warped. Um, they didn't really execute that very well. And you can take his knife and shove that in there. Barely as well, because we'll get to the articulation in a minute, but it's hard to pose it with that. But yeah, and so I guess he looks okay. Um, I just, from the neck down, he looks fine. I just can't get over that atrocious head sculpt. That just, it looks fine like from a figure standpoint, but it just doesn't look like Sokka at all. I don't know what they were going for with this. It's just, I don't know. I, I really couldn't tell you what they were going for. He has a hard time standing too, which is a common thing with this line. Like, 
these, I, if you watched my part one of, actually I think it's in part two, which at the time of this recording hasn't been posted. Sorry about that, guys. I'll get to that. But it, it's, I lost my train of thought now. Um, these figures do not stand for shit. So, yeah, it's, he's going to be annoying with that too. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories because he does have quite a few. So taking a look at Sokka's accessories, starting off with the kind of boring stuff, but you know, it, it helps with this figure and other ones. He does come with a flight stand. I really don't think he needs this, but I think it's just a common thing that Diamond Select's gonna be doing for all their figures now. They're not the best, they're not the worst. You can tighten the screws if you need to for heavier figures, but I find myself not really using them. And if you don't need the big flight stand, he just, this whatever, he does come with a black flat stand, which is whatever, it's fine. Um, as for hands, he's got a pair of open splayed hands, which I do like. He does come with a pair of fist hands. And then on the figure right now is the pair of grip hands. Now, in said grip hands is his signature boomerang, which does look very nice, and his bone knife, which also looks very, very nice. And he holds them well, so I can appreciate that. Now, to go along with said boomerang, he comes with this. It's an effect piece, but it, it just, I don't know how it's, I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Um, I think this is meant to go on the flight stand, like if you look, you can plug it in the middle and then like it, and then if you angle it the right way, it looks like he threw the boomerang, because if you look on the sculpt here, it's a bunch of little like spinning boomerangs, I'm sorry, my hands are so shaky, but it's a bunch of spinning boomerangs, kind of similar to how Diamond selected the spinning Mjolnir with the Thor, um, so I guess that's cool, um, probably I'll never, whoa, probably I'll never find myself using that, but... Whatever, that's cool. And then he also does come with this like swooshing effect, kind of like how the Marvel Legends did with the Captain Americas. I also don't know how to use this. I'm assuming you plug this into this. And then, I don't know what these two holes are for. The one hole, it's the sculpted boomerang again. So I don't know, maybe it's just, I, I really couldn't tell you. I don't think these are very well implemented accessories at well, because this doesn't really attach anywhere that would make sense, so. I don't know, and you can see like a sculpted boomerang on the end there that is the same exact size as this one. So I'm not entirely sure, but I guess they tried. And if Diamond Select isn't good at anything else, they're good at giving you a, a butt ton of accessories for a good price point. But let's go ahead and take a look at Sokka's articulation because it is not the best. So taking a look at Sokka's articulation, the head is going to not move up. You can kind of shift it and it'll kind of look up a little bit, but not much. He does look down. You do get side to side pivot and a full rotation. Shoulders move upwards that much. And now make sure to grab them at the light blue bicep part because I tried to do it at the elbow and the one popped out and they are really, really thin pegs. So you will probably break it if you do that. You rotate 360, no bicep swivel, swivel at the elbow, single jointed elbow that only moves in about that much. Again, be careful with that peg. Like I said, it does swivel. Swivel and hinge at the wrist, and they are all horizontal hinge, no vertical hinge, which would have been nice for the boomerang and the knife. Just a waist swivel, no ball joint, just a waist swivel. There might be a little bit of wobble, but nothing crazy. Splits, you can do that. Kicking forward. He barely goes at all. He's only going to go kick forward that much, that far back. You do get a thigh swivel. Dumbbell jointed knees that work pretty well. I'll give them that. No swivel at the knee. Then the ankles, you're going to have to shift over the hip, like the lip there. They do go up. They do go back. And you do get an ankle pivot. But yeah, for some reason, he's hard to stand because of the way that they sculpted the ankle. You have to like get it over that little lip. And when you do, he'll stand okay. But... It's going to take a lot of posing to get him to stand good, which is super annoying because, you know, all these figures don't stand good. Toph falls at, well, if she was out, I had to pack all my stuff because, like I said, I'm moving, but whatever. He just doesn't stand good, so let's go ahead and take a look at final thoughts. So usually I know you guys are wondering what I'm thinking, but I think I've made it pretty clear how I feel about this figure. I am not a huge fan of this. Like I said, if it wasn't a main character, I would not have purchased it. If it wasn't Sokka, there's no way in heaven I would have got this. Because I didn't have high expectations going into it. But even with low expectations, it is still managed to be worse than that. Which is, 
Kind of impressive on their part in all the wrong ways, but yeah, this is not very good at all. The articulation is barely passable as a super articulated action figure. The accessories are pretty good. Like, there's a great quantity of them, but the practicality of them, I'm not really getting. If you know how to use these better, let me know in the comments because I don't know how to use them better. I, I don't I don't know what this hole is for. I don't know what that's for. Um, because the other hole is for the hole in the boomerang. So I don't whatever, whatever. I don't think the accessories, while there's a lot, I don't think they're implemented well. I don't think they were thought out very through. And I just I can't get over this head sculpt. This looks nothing like Sokka. And I, I I'm sure that's the common consensus here by most people who collect this line of who the frig is that? Because that is not Sokka. But there are some nice things. I like the string being an actual string. Um, I like the knife and the boomerang. I like the amount of hands. But And I'm happy to finally have a Sokka figure. But other than that, if I was to rate this figure, I would probably give it like a 4 out of 10. It is not a very good figure. Which is not something I wanted to say. But with all that being said... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this because I'm pretty sure the common consensus on this figure is pfft, I don't think many people are going to be like, wow, this is the best action figure of the year. I'd be very surprised to see this on anybody's top 10 uh, best figures of the year. Let me just link a video if you see somebody do that like, and genuinely mean it. That'd be pretty awesome. But, you know, your opinion is your own and I'd love to hear... If you love this figure, no shame on you. I'd love to hear about it. Tell me why you like it because... I don't. But anyway, with all that being said, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, and with that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.